We have breaking news regarding the SEC and these Bitcoin ETF applications. So today the SEC met with BlackRock regarding the Bitcoin ETF applications. And we are honestly days or weeks away from these Bitcoin ETF applications to be approved, which means that these Bitcoin ETFs are finally going to go live. When they go live, this is going to call uh, cause a massive influx of trillions of dollars over the next months, the next years from traditional finance into Bitcoin, which is very bullish for every single cryptocurrency. The reason why cryptos are pumping up the way they are doing so at our current moment to this massive bull run is all because of the Bitcoin ETF application news and that is likely to get approved. That's what this whole run was for. For Bitcoin, for Ethereum, for Cardano, all of this pumping, Dogecoin, all your favorite cryptocurrencies, all of this pumping is because of these Bitcoin ETF applications. We also have the Bitcoin halving cycle, the halving event, which is going to be around April of next year, which is going to cause even more bullishness for crypto. We also have the Fed that they're going to be cutting rates next year, early next year. And this is even more bullish for cryptocurrencies. So we have these three major things that is going to allow cryptos and cause them to go up really hard and really fast. That's why I believe that we are in a bull run and that the year 2024 is going to be one of the most bullish years for cryptocurrency ever, because it's for the first time that we're actually getting real institutional adoption for Bitcoin. And eventually that's going to follow into altcoins like Ethereum, XRP, a lot of our favorite altcoins that are well trusted. Now, the reason why this is so hyped up and why cryptos are going up so strongly is because it's going to allow immediately, as soon as these ETFs are live, trillions of untapped dollars in traditional finance to get into cryptocurrency, to actually buy cryptocurrency. So these Bitcoin spot ETFs, they're not futures ETFs, they're spot ETFs. And what this means is that the, the people that are creating these ETFs, they need to physically hold spot Bitcoin, which means that they have to physically buy the Bitcoin, which means that there's massive demand that's going to be buying Bitcoin nonstop for a very long time. And this is going to be pushing up the price. We have the halving event, which is coming, which is caused, which causes a massive supply shock for Bitcoin. And that's what creates these bull runs every four years, right on time, every single time. So we have a whole bunch of bullish events that are taking place early 2024, which is weeks away. And that's why cryptos are going up. Now for the short term, let me share with you my thoughts and where I think cryptos are headed. So it does appear that cryptocurrencies, we take a look at Bitcoin, everything follows Bitcoin. It does appear that we are now starting to experience a correction, which I called out before this correction even took place on my YouTube, my Twitter and in my Patreon, which is my pay group where people are making thousands of dollars every single week. Here's an example of a trade I did yesterday. Also a trade that I put out yesterday to buy Bitcoin at the dip and did making thousands of dollars on that. And so did people in my Patreon. But getting back to the Bitcoin price, we are starting to experience a little bit of a correction, which means that the people that bought way down here, over here, over there, that they are just taking profits. They are distributing their profits. And guess what happens to the Bitcoin price when people take profits is that we have a little bit of a cooling off of euphoria and we might come down to there, maybe something like this. And then we're going to continue pumping for altcoins and cryptocurrencies. So now we are getting that discount that we've been waiting for while cryptos have been pumping. I told you all, be patient, a dip and a correction is coming. And now it's here. It's starting to come here. I do not believe that we have bottomed out, that this is the lowest that we're going to go. No, I personally think that we are. We might pump a little bit more, um, but I do think that we are going to correct a bit further, maybe another 10 percent, another 15 percent. Somewhere in that region, I think we're going to correct a little bit further and then we're going to continue this up only of pumping for however long and then we're going to enter into another corrective phase. So in bull markets, what we experience is many months of going up for, without any dips. And then we have basically a couple of months, maybe three, where we end up kind of selling off, pulling back, having a correction. And then we resume up only, then another correction, then up only. So the market doesn't just go straight up. It has corrections. It has pullbacks on the way up. And those pullbacks, those corrections are the time for you to buy, to invest, to trade. And that's where you make your money, not buying when things are pumping, but buying when things are down, consolidating, correcting red, 
Everyone's saying it's going to zero. That type of environment is where you want to be buying, not when things are pumping. So corrections and pullbacks is what we are experiencing right now. And it's normal as people just taking profits that bought at really cheap prices. And it allows a bunch of people like myself and you to get in that we're sitting on the sidelines. Now make sure you guys are using my Algo Sniper trading indicator. This thing is amazing. It gave us a buy alert for Bitcoin at $25,000. And this works for every cryptocurrency. But look, you could have bought right here at $25,000 and rode this thing up for nearly a 100% gain in a matter of months. You do not want to be missing the use of this indicator, which you guys can try today for free at algosniper.com. That's gonna be it for this video. So if you guys get something out of the video, please consider giving this video a thumbs up, subscribing with notifications on, and I'll see you later.